In today's video, we are going to discuss about how to create a site in Office 365. In my previous videos, I have explained what is Office 365, what are the advantages of using Office 365. So let's focus about how to create a site in Office 365 in this video. If you are new to the channel, I welcome you to the channel. And my name is Vijay and I am a Microsoft MVP in SharePoint. And if you have not yet subscribed to the channel, subscribe to the channel. You will get a lot of free videos on SharePoint Office 365 Power Platform. All this learning tutorial videos you will get on this channel. Now, uh, before going to this, now let us understand that there are two kinds of, uh, there are other uh, sites, other kind of sites are there where you can create. But mostly in the SharePoint Online Modern site, we create or we deal with these two kind of sites mostly. One is a team site, which is a modern team site and the other one is a communication site. Now these two sites, how we will decide which site you should create. I think I have also created separate videos for how about the communication site about the modern team site. But before creating a site in Office 365, let's just high level discuss on this thing. Now a team site as the name suggests it is for your team that means if there are limited number of people where they are responsible for doing a work let's say uh, your project team or your XYZ team you want the documents or the information within that team then you can create a team site but if you want for but in case of a communication site for example you want to share some information to the or entire organization for example you want to uh, show some messages uh, about the Christmas or about the new year and then you can so you can create a communication site and then you can uh, add those information because those information are not limited to any team those are public information that means uh, it is for your entire organization anyone come and see that information your HR policy related documents anyone should come and see that you are you are planning to do some activity you want people to register it then you can create a communication site because there is no boundary of a particular team or the information is not very uh, limited to a team or sh it should be within that team it is not the case of a communication site so in those scenarios you can create a communication site now uh, let's to uh, to take two examples for example uh, the first one is the hr people let's say uh, you want to create a site for your hr team and you want to create uh, information for the entire organization that HR information so in those scenarios when you will create a, a team for your HR team then you can create a communication site but if you want to create a team where you want to display the HR information uh, or you want all your organization employees should see those HR information then you should create a, a site which is a communication site but your HR team is let's say limited to 100 people and you want to share information within those HR people then you can create a communication site or uh, sorry you can create a team site in those scenarios um, another good example that you can uh, think of where uh, uh, let's say in our company TS Info Dev team let's say I want to create a, a site for my developers so that what, what they can do is they can communicate they can uh, share the uh, project related documents whatever they are working and I should create a team site for that rather create a communication site because I don't want everyone will see all these project related documents rather I want only who are the developers who are part of this particular uh, uh, development team they should able to see this my HR people should not see my development related thing so I can take this uh, dev team or I can create a team site for my developers and they can work with that so these are basically the kind of sites that you can create now let's go to our uh, I, I, I assume that uh, uh, by this time you have already signed up for an office 365 trial or if you have a uh, office 365 tenant licensed one then it is well and good or you, if you have not i i'll put uh, the links in the video description where you can sign up for an enterprise e5 license uh, or you can even uh, sign up for an unlimited trial through the SharePoint uh, developer or Microsoft developer program that is where you can get the site unlimited and that's all, that is also an enterprise E5 license so you'll get a lot of features on that 
now what i'll do is i will log into the office 365 portal uh, you can see here i just open this site okay this is uh, a sharepoint development training course i have and if you are interested to learn you can put you can check the details here there are 23 modules and you will get to learn everything on this including your power platform uh, spfx uh, the migration concept and all sharepoint related concept you'll get it here i'll put the link in the video description you can have a look at that the next thing is, uh, let's say you want to uh, sign in to your Office 365 tenant or something. If you are an administrator, then you can simply type admin.microsoft.com. Um, previously, the link also, I, I, that link also will redirect now portal.office.com. So best is you can uh, type admin.microsoft.com and then if you have not signed in, then it will ask you to put your Office 365 credential. Make sure this, this credential will be a tenant credential. So if you really have access to your admin center, you can see this is the Microsoft 365 admin center and then you can, uh, you can click, uh, uh, you can log in here. Uh, since I have already logged in so it didn't ask me and uh, the next thing is uh, when we talk about the SharePoint this is the um, this is the admin center for Office 365 or the Microsoft 365 how you can go to the SharePoint uh, admin center there are, but if you can see here there is uh, the admin center SharePoint and if you we'll click on that then you can see here this is my tenant name hyphen admin dot SharePoint dot com and from here you can create your site this to create a site, uh, you can see here there is a uh, in the left navigation there is sites tab. Simply click over here and then click on active sites. Once you click on active site, you can see here there is a create button and you can see all your sites uh, which are there on this particular tenant. Now if you we'll click on create, uh, you can see there is a team site option, there is communication site option. Also, if you will click on other option, you will see the other uh, site templates which you can use to create site. But mostly, we, if you are creating a team site, you can select this option. If you want to create a communication site, you can see this option. Now, if I want to create a site for the HR, uh, meaning I want a the HR information should be available over there and all my users should be able to see those information. Then in those case, I will create a communication site and uh, there are templates you can see here. They, they have to create a design topic, showcase or blank. Uh, so I have a detailed video on the communication site. You, I'll put the link, you can have a look at that. But here you can provide the name. For example, I'll give simply HR and you can see there is a site address and it will take automatically the site name it will remove the space if you have given and make sure the uh, you can even click on this edit icon and you can change the site address for example if you want to uh, put the name as human resource and uh, but the uh, url it should be hr so you can edit and you can put this and then if you want to have a site owner, so you can put it, for example, in this case, uh, maybe your HR, uh, someone from your HR team who will manage this, this, this site, you can put uh, his ID here. But I have only one user, so I'll just create, uh, I'll just put this user. And you can see here, if you'll go to the advanced setting, you have the option where it is saying that you select the time zone and you can provide a description. Now, uh, if you look at carefully on this, you have a site owner. It is not as, uh, telling you to add members, all these things, because this is going to be your uh, enterprise level site where everyone can see the content, everyone can um, uh, uh, can view the content. So, and only the site owner as of now can able to add the content here. Now you can see, I'll click on finish. So once I click on finish, the site will get created, which is the HR site. You can see here, this is the HR site and uh, this is a communication site. You can see, um, you can see here, this is a communication site. By default, there will be events, documents, news, and there is a hero web part where uh, you can display the news as well. So this kind of site, which you can use for your, uh, for the HR operation, uh, meaning HR, uh, where everyone in your organization can see it. But the other side, uh, if I will uh, try to create one more site, this time we will select a team site and you can see here, uh, if I'll give a name for support, I'll say tech team and uh, you can see the uh, group email address. This is the Office 365 group connected site. There are other benefits of a group connected site and uh, you can see site address then group owner. So I'll put uh, the group owner here 
can see and if you go to the advanced setting you can see there is a uh, uh, there is a privacy settings which is saying that if you if you want this that only members can access it or anyone can access it you want to make it public or you want to make it to private so if you are uh, if you are really working on a team site for a particular team then best is you can select private only members can access this site uh, because you don't want the all the documents which are related to the tech team will be visible to others so you can make uh, it private and then you can put a description about the site and then time zone then click on next when you are clicking on next it is asking me the additional owners and members who are the members um, will be of, uh, of this site who can see this and also the additional owners uh, in a modern site you have this groups by default it will create and if you will add the members or the additional owners it will take and click on finish so you can see uh, i click on finish now you can see this is my tech team and this is the look and feel of a modern team site uh, you can see it is di uh, quite different from the communication site you have a left navigation uh, in this one you can see there is no left navigation nothing here you have a left navigation that is uh, for so that you can quickly access the content you can put the links which you are which you want uh, people to access easily and you can see there is news quick links document there is activity and uh, it is totally a different site uh, in the team site and uh, you can create your own document library you can upload document which will be available for this team uh, who are the member of this group so that we need to remember uh, that this will be the person if, if someone let's say uh, joined in your company and then you want him to take your uh, a group or your uh, uh, team then you have to add this user or you have to share this uh, user the new user to the site so that the user can see the content without adding the user to the group or the sharepoint site the user the user will not be able to see the content of this site it will say uh, you don't have permission to see that so here the information is secure within the team uh, but the communication site uh, the information is for your entire organization anyone can log in and see this login means anyone can just log into the office 365 and then they can see it so this is how you can create a site in office 365 and uh, if you want this kind of videos as i said before subscribe to the channel press the bell icon so that you will get notification whenever i'll upload a video immediately thank you and have a nice day